Three years ago, all of us at Christ Presbyterian Church took a great leap of faith by pledging $1.4 million to turn a fellowship hall into a sanctuary. And the results, well, the results have been greater than any of us could have imagined. In the two years since moving into our new home, this room has been a place for amazing worship services, for a music ministry that soars with the musical talents of our, of our musicians, enhanced by the acoustics and, and the, the sound equipment. This has been a place where the homeless are fed, where special needs youth rock and roll, and where sister faiths gather in fellowship. There have been dozens of other moving experiences in this room, and there will be many, many more to come. The next leap of faith for CPC is a second capital campaign with the goal of completely paying off the mortgage on our sanctuary and updating the preschool and education buildings on our campus. Over the next three years, it will take about $640,000 to completely pay off our mortgage by the end of April 2023. If we do not take on a capital campaign, then paying the mortgage will have to be added to our annual operating budget which means increasing that budget by $82,000 a year. It's a 15% increase that we'll still have to find somewhere. In that $82,000 a year, every year for 10 years, there will be nearly $150,000 in interest. So it just makes good financial stewardship to pay off the mortgage as soon as we can. But it's also good spiritual stewardship because paying off the mortgage means that our time, our energy, our focus won't be on those, those monthly bills, but it'll be on being the people God calls us to be in this, this time that needs God's people as much as ever. Now, we're not just paying off the mortgage in this campaign. God has more for us to do. We have a thriving preschool here at CPC, but our facilities are 35 years old and they are showing their age. We have an education building that's nearly 25 years old. That's the building where the young families we're seeking to draw to our church, that's where their children and youth will grow up. But it's looking tired. So about $150,000 are needed to bring the preschool room, build the preschool and the education building up to speed. New ceiling in the preschool, new flooring in the education building and a dozen other upgrades that you'll see right away. And most importantly, the young families that we're seeking to draw down to this end of the cul-de-sac, they'll see them right away too. And if we exceed our goal by even 4%, we'll be able to add a state-of-the-art playground right out here next to the sanctuary for not only our own children to play on Sunday mornings and other times, but also as an outreach to the young families in our neighborhood. Again, to bring them down to the corner of the cul-de-sac to play. So our goal for Forward in Faith 2020 is $800,000. That's a leap of faith. But three years ago, we had a greater need. And we met that and exceeded it by the grace of God and by your generosity. And by the grace of God, together we can, we can meet this need again. Let's dream beyond the debt. Let's dream beyond the debt and empower ourselves and all the generations who will follow us here at CPC to meet the future fully staffed, fully resourced, debt-free, so that Christ Presbyterian Church 
can continue to be a place for grace for generations to come. part of a church that knows how to do church in, in the big ways, in the small ways, in all the ways that really matter. You know, every time I step into this sanctuary, I'm grateful. Grateful for a beautiful place in which to worship, yes, but grateful even more for the people of this church and for your faithfulness that made this happen, that makes so many good things so many God things happen. Now, it's time to dream beyond our debt. It's time to set ourselves free and to set all who will come after us free to be who God is calling us to be, to dream God's dream, to continue to make Christ Presbyterian Church a place for grace for all who come here. And we begin to dream beyond the debt by praying that simple prayer every day for the next few weeks. Lord, what would you do through me, through me, to accomplish your vision for our church? Help me to discern a sacrifice for the capital campaign that is meaningful and joyful. In Christ's name, amen.